Look, we're trying to get to 80,000 subscribers. It seems like it's huge, it's not. Go subscribe, share it with your friends. As soon as we do, holy crap. Two lucky winners, five wallets of their choice. Japanese wallets, we love to review them here on this channel, but what if I showed you a Japanese style wallet that was made in the United States? So what you say? Well, okay, so what? Well, fine then. It's well made, maybe an inconvenience, and expensive. All right, are you ready now? We're ready for you now. Follow me. Ezra Arthur, we've reviewed their Cashful Deluxe wallet in the past. This is their Japanese wallet. Let's open this up. This is nice raised lettering here, you know, designed for life. They like Latin phrases. Ad vitam, this means uh, for life, and this is aeternam, that's uh, forever. So, let's get into this. Open it up. This is a nice microfiber pouch. And voila, here is the wallet. This is the whiskey color. But, as you can see, it also comes in Malby, Green, Navy, Jet Top, and Jet. The Malby, Navy, and Jet Top come with a cream color thread. And, as you can see with this one, it opens up into kind of a pouch environment, as this is built for coins. Being a Japanese wallet, Japanese wallets always have a primary, which is with coins. And, of course, we see some options for cash and cards. Nice! Let's just get into the details. I think that's all there is? Well, might be a surprise or maybe not. Nothing on the exterior by way of a quick access card slot so we get into it. We can see this is kept closed by two snaps which maintain the security of the wallet. Immediately we're presented with the organization that this belongs to. This is uh, where you organize your belongings right here in the main pouch area. We have two interior card slots. Both can be used for cards. This rear one works best for cash folded once and we have this interior open pouch. You can see it's maintained security. We've got a front lip right here. I think you can place cards in here. We'll try that out. Of course, and coins go here as well. This is also big enough for business cards, SIM cards, whatever it might be. And just as easily, it folds up and closes. This measures 4 by 2.8 by 0.7 and weighs 53 grams or 1.9 ounces. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Company recommends up to 12 cards, cash, and coins. I put uh, eight coins in here, various different sizes. And let's see, I think we take some of these out. We don't necessarily have to do that, but we'll do that for convenience. Let's take another card and slip it right in here. And we can easily do that. So you can add additional cards here in the bottom. Of course, we mentioned business cards. And you can see the cards fit well in here. And this fit cash folded once. Tall currencies, euro and yen, worked fine as well. Company recommends up to 12 cards, as I mentioned. But that's quite a few. So it would take a little bit for this to stretch out to accommodate that. This is designed and made in the United States. It is a full grain veg tan leather. And my guess is Horween. Oh, Horween leather. That's this. Oh, yeah. That's Horween. It doesn't say it on the page, but most of their leather products are made from Horween, so that is a good guess. There is no lining, or glue, or rubber. This is just leather and thread. And a couple snaps that uh, are made by Ezra Arthur. You can, uh, let's see if we can get the focus in on that. Yeah, very nice. So they've branded their own snaps. Let's get this card out of here. You'll notice that we have the finish side of the leather all the way through this, including on this interior coming up here. So the flesh side, you only see that on this exterior, but and of course in the pockets themselves, but a lot of finished leather, which is a really nice touch and great in the design. The sewing is well done. You can see how it bridges right here uh, from the front to the back because we have this fold area. And uh, they still continue that stitch all the way around, even though it doesn't really stitch something together. This is all uh, made uh, hand by hand, and the burnishing looks to be a very high gloss. You can see this in the light, but the thing I don't quite like here is there, and this is clear lacquer, is the edges have a bit of a jagged feel to them and look. You can see kind of the jagged. I don't know if that was something that was done in the cutting, but I kind of prefer it to be smooth like the rest of the wallet that we have right here. The wallet itself costs $150. Now, Ezra Arthur products are on the higher side by way of cost, but for all their products, there's no question you're getting higher quality. 
And I would say this is a front pocket wallet. You could carry it in your rear pocket, but really this belongs in the front pocket. And that's kind of the bulkiness due to coins you may carry. If you don't carry coins and you keep just cash and cards, then I'm sure a rear pocket would be fine as well. There's no quick access card slot on this. So if you want to get to cards, you have to unsnap, you have to unfold and get to the back. Not very convenient, but if you're doing this for coins in particular, all you have to do is just kind of open it and then you have immediate access to coins right here. You don't have to really get into the full wallet to access things in the front. And as mentioned, this is designed after traditional Japanese wallets, which always make accommodation for coin carry first. That is the primary function. And hopefully you've been noticing as I've been working this, that it has this lip at the top that you need to fold over. Over time, this will become easier. It's not super convenient. I don't like to have to think about my wallets, but in so doing, the design is is perfect because once you wrap this over and you can see how things are enclosed and once this is snapped, everything is secure, coins, nothing is gonna fall out of this. If you have a tendency to carry coins, this is an excellent option. Simple, elegance with lifetime construction. Now on to the final score. For quality of five, no question, fantastic quality. Price of two, great quality, but it's pushing the price boundary for me. Features of four, great encapsulation of coins, cash and cards, and really any other small items you wanna carry. Usability of three, accessibility is good for coins, but not so much for cards or cash. Still giving it a three because that is the design of the wallet. You're not being tricked here. And perception of four, and that gives you a final score of 37 out of 50. If you like this video, then watch this one next. We have a few more Japanese wallets we'll be sprinkling in over time, so keep watching and please subscribe. And we'll see you in the next review. Bye.